From extensive medical research, it has been demonstrated that both muscle weakness and obesity independently have serious negative repercussions on mortality and physical function. To make matters worse, about 10% of people over the age of 75 are afflicted with both risk factors. And in medical jargon, we call this double whammy sarcopenic obesity. In this video, I'll review how dangerous this combo of risk factors can be. However, on a positive note, I will discuss how the benefits of exercise is one important ingredient in addressing this problem. Hi, I'm Dr. Edmund Kleeman. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here in New York. I specialize in sports medicine and arthroscopic surgery. Let's discuss physical limitations. And there was a study of 1,300 women over the age of 75, and they looked at a group of sarcopenic obese women, and they compared them to a group of women who had a healthy body composition. And what they found was that the group that was sarcopenic obesity had much higher physical limitations. For example, in the sarcopenic obese group, 50% greater odds of having a moving difficulty, 2.5 times greater odds of difficulty climbing or descending stairs, two times greater odds of difficulty picking an object off the floor, and two times greater odds of difficulty lifting heavy objects or reaching an object. A very important aspect of someone's function is their ability to walk how quickly they can walk, how far they can walk, can they walk upstairs? And there was a study of over 900 people over the age of 75 years old, and they broke them up into groups, those who were obese, those who were sarcopenic, and those who had both problems. And they found that the group that had both sarcopenic and obesity, that they were the ones who had the steepest decline in their speed of walking over the course of six years, and they were also the group that had the steepest decline in ability to walk a certain distance. For example, walking speed declined by 17% in the sarcopenic obese group, and that was compared to an 8% decline in the obese group, a 4% decline in the weak muscle group, and a 2% decline in the group that had neither obesity nor had muscle weakness. Now, in this same study, looking at mobility problems, they found a very high risk, 30% of developing a new mobility problem in the sarcopenic obese group, meaning some difficulty walking or going upstairs. And this is versus only a 10% risk of developing this type of a problem in the group that had neither obesity nor being muscularly weak. Let's discuss physical disability. So things like having difficulty getting dressed, or bathing oneself. A study of 400 older men and women were broken up into three groups, those who were obese, those who had sarcopenia, muscle weakness, and those that had both. In men, the odds of having three or more physical disabilities was nine times greater in the sarcopenic obese group, about four times greater in just the muscle weak group, sarcopenia group, and about 1.3 times greater in the obese group, and this is compared to people who had normal body composition. The corresponding risk of having three or more physical disabilities in women were similar, about 12 times greater in the sarcopenic obese group, three times greater in the purely muscle weak group, sarcopenic group, and two times greater in the obese group, again, compared to people with a normal body composition. We're going to switch gears now and talk about injuries. So people who have sarcopenic obesity are at higher risk from suffering a fall and an injury, which makes sense because we've just demonstrated how they have higher problems and difficulty with mobility. Studies of sarcopenic obese older men and women have found that in men, the odds of a fall were about three times greater in a sarcopenic obese group two times greater in just the muscle weak group and about 1.4 times greater in the obese group. And when someone falls, there's obviously a high risk for them to breaking a bone. And so there was a study which had over 30,000 people and they found that the people who were sarcopenic obese had a much higher risk of breaking a bone than those who were not. And this study found that older people who had a more normal body composition that they had about a 32% risk of breaking a bone after a fall versus a 60% risk if they were obese 
versus an 88% risk of breaking a bone if they had both sarcopenic obesity. So we see from the study there's an elevated risk of breaking a bone as someone goes from just getting older to having obesity to having both sarcopenic obesity. Let's switch gears one more time and we're going to talk about mortality. So studies show that people who have sarcopenic obesity are at a much higher risk of dying than those who don't. A study of 4,000 older men between the ages of 60 and 74, they found that the group that had sarcopenic obesity had a much higher risk of mortality compared to a group of people in the same age that had a more normal body composition. For example, compared to men who had a normal body composition, obese men had a 21% increased mortality risk. Those men who had sarcopenia, meaning muscle weakness or loss of muscle mass, had a 41% increased mortality risk. But in the group that had both sarcopenia and obesity, had a whopping 72% increased risk of mortality. On the positive note, exercise, combinations of aerobic exercise and strength exercise have been shown in multiple studies to help patients who have obesity, to patients who have muscle weakness, sarcopenia, and patients who have both to improve both their physical function and to decrease their risk of mortality. So it is very important for people to maintain exercise programs in order to reduce these risks and to be able to live healthier lives. Let's wrap up this video and go over a few key points. So number one, sarcopenic obesity, having these two problems causes an elevated risk of a functional limitation or disability compared to either one of these risk factors alone. Number two, sarcopenic obesity increases the risk of having an injury and a subsequent fracture. Number three, sarcopenic obesity has an increased mortality risk compared to either risk factor alone. And number four, physical exercise, aerobic and resistant training program can help mitigate these risk factors. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please click the like button below and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you in my next video or in my office.